So this is Prahlad Maharaj. He is the example. What does he show? He shows someone who attained Bhava Bhakti in the womb. He didn't even practice, he hadn't even practiced anything. He hadn't done any practices, he hadn't done any Vaidhi sadhana or any type of sadhana. Simply by the heart of, the heart of Bhav, the heartfelt wishes of Narada Muni, that Baba Bhakti came in his heart. So therefore, that's why we as Vaishnavas, we so much stress the point of getting mercy from Vaishnavas. We always say, Kripa Kuro, Kripa Kuro. Oh Prabhu, Kripa Kuro, please give me your mercy. Kripa Kuro. So if we get the mercy from a Prema Bhakta or a Baba Bhakta, then we can also attain that Baba Bhakti will shine in our hearts. That Samvit and Ladani, that Sarup Shakti, that very personal internal energy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, which, which is made of full knowledge and full bliss in Bhavas and Ananda, will shine in our heart and fill us with ruchi. When Baba Bhakti shines in the heart, one develops great taste for seeing the form of Krishna. When he just simply sees the form of Krishna, his hair stands on end, tears come to his eyes, he shivers, and different symptoms of uh, sattvic bhavs overwhelm and manifest in his body just by seeing the form. And when one chants the name, it's called Nam Ruchi. This is real Nam Ruchi. When one chants the holy name in bhava, then he feels different ecstasies swirling within his mind and heart and manifesting in his bodily limbs. His eyes, his hair is, is, is very skin itself. So Baba, when Baba contacts the devotee, he be, this is called, Prabhupada calls Baba Bhakti chapter nectar devotion, ecstatic devotion. 